What is up guys, your boy Joey B here, bringing you a Summoner's Glory video. Damn, I never thought I'd say that, in a, like ever, ever again. But yeah, it's Christmas Day, really weird to be doing a YouTube video on Christmas if I'm honest. But uh, they've went and done it, the update is now live for everyone to come check out. If you haven't played this game before, I'd definitely say now is the time to get jump in and give the damn thing a shot. And for all you people that did play it, and had their hearts destroyed, just like me and many others, I'm telling you now, this is this is back with a vengeance. Like, it's pretty much a brand new game, so I'm just going to run through what the changes are, and why you should basically come back in and give this a go. Uh, so let's jump right into it. Right, so most exciting change for me, I absolutely love it, because, let's be honest, we grinded our asses off for ages, you got up to your Evo 8s and that, Phantoms get buffed, uh, rebalancing, changes happen, and you wish you had Phantoms to use, but my god it took forever for to get the resources and evil people up and get all the food. Well, the res resonance system just completely obliterates that. So as you can see here, I've got Pup and Clock. They're both, like, so Clock hasn't even been touched. I just pulled him, stuck him in here, 180, put my fast runes on him. Puff, he's perfect. Pups in Evil 3, she's up at level 180. She's only there for the decreased defense, but the level in that gets her HP up so she can take a little hit before, just in case somebody's a bit quicker than me. But yeah, this system here, absolutely fantastic. You need this material, the star coins, and a couple of bits of food for each different area to unlock each one. So as you'll see here, you just jump in. Could be any old trash food, don't matter. And don't even worry about feeding food into this because I'm going to show you in a sec. It's, there's, there's just no care anymore. Um, I think the easiest way to show this is so. Oh yeah, I might as well say this now. The big spender's been increased. So if you did used to play this and you put a whack of money in the game, um, yeah, you're going to have lots of nice little gifts waiting for you if you just log in and collect them all. As you can see, Ankaris is definitely going to be pretty strong in about a day or two. So anyway, jump in here, you got your phantom skills now, you can now select specifically, it's no RNG, so they're not making you waste 100 bucks on a skill phantom, put it in and hope it lands on the skill that you want and you can jump in and you can just select the upgrade. As you can see here, there's only SSs and skill phantoms, probably a bad example because we don't have S and Karis, so yeah, the S copies are totally irrelevant now, so... There's an S, Lord of Shadows. I've got an SS, Lord of Shadows. So if I was going to upgrade his skills, jump in. The S's don't appear. They can no longer be used as, like, 10% chance of boosting a skill. Everything is now just food. Don't even use, like, phantom copies anymore, especially for characters you're using, so, like, your main team, because you'll need them to go up the evil stages that we'll show in a minute. Right, so, Star Coins. You know this, I put a video up before the world fell apart with the game uh, until the developers come back and really brought it back to life. In here, we all know, we were farming our man, Mr. Merlin, getting these fragments, but if you look down all the stages now with the characters shown on the actual stage, the very last stage on each difficulty will have SS copies of that character. And the drop rate is pretty high, so your secret dancers and that. Sadly, the bloody overload's been taken out, so I believe that's why J-Town, higher standards and things like that, putting videos out telling you to farm those fragments, because if you wanted to evil him up higher, then that was your chance to do it. So, yeah, jump in here, you complete the stages. Uh, once you've three-starred absolutely everything, you get a little chest and it'll have these star coins. That's how you obtain them pretty easily. So as you can see, the updates only just went live and I'm pushing through it at the moment, uh, getting these all complete so we can get hard unlocked. The reason you want to try to get hard completed up to a high enough sort of level, um, because also when you're farming these, you'll see this dust, the soul power here, this is what's used to level up your characters. You do need a ton of these when you start evoing them up more and more and more. Uh, you will be running these on battle assist on the highest difficulty you possibly can to get an absolute ton of this stuff because it disappears fast especially if you get three or four evils at once 
So yeah, reason to start farming areas of the game that we once thought were pretty much dead or we're just chasing like a fragment and maybe getting poor RNG. Anyway, what's the next exciting upgrade? Oh look, I actually have a friend in server 2 as well. Like look at this, there is human life in server 2. Look, he even wants, oh my god, like this is unbelievable. The update's launched and I have a friend. Anyway, let's jump into the next bit. Right, so here we're at the blacksmith. Was relatively used a little bit but it was mainly for reforging like sort of gear that you had to get these enchantments which we'll go on to in a minute because a lot of enchantments now are not available on the new gear so the gear that you have on at the moment if it has high time or energy economy things like that keep that gear it's purely for arena's sake because when it's gone it's gone and you ain't getting it back anyway so we have the forging in here literally come down don't get me wrong there's still an element of rng doesn't matter how it looks here so you want to jump in and you want to craft a six star piece and you choose a helmet you don't get to choose the exact set that you want but you can craft specific items of gear that you might be missing and keep crafting them so it's less and it's stopping you to having to run the instances over and over and over again it will take you a while to get to this stage and it does take a while to farm up enough of these elite rune stones Took us a little bit in the test server when we had access into playing it. But there is two different levels, so you don't have to go for the biggest one. Um, when we get into this, into the craft screen, new crafting. So at the minute, there's a little Christmas event going on. We're, we're used to these before. Basically, craft them up, open the chest, little goodies in there. You can buy these hats in the shop, obviously. The game wants to make money, you put them in, you can buy these, wheel out, go mad. As I said, there's a new big spender available. So if you want those Ankaraces to get an easy like evil for, for like level 400 Ankaras, 450, 60 for free, yeah, go ahead. Anyway, that's not what we're in here for. So runes. So you can still go into the Demon Fortress and stuff and farm some runes, but there are specific runes that are only available from certain areas of the game. So this is the Elemental Tower rune, and to get this stuff, that you will need to fight in the Elemental Tower to get these Sacred Magic books. The sets are nice, some of them are very good. So as you can see, 4 sets, speed increase and crit damage by 40% and a 50% chance of unkillable. This is the set I'm going to be pushing for, for like mad. I think this will be fantastic, so yeah. Elemental Tower, new part of the game, we'll show that in a minute. Same again, Demon Fort Fortress and stuff like that, this is for all your hand. This is the only place you'll get Harvest Runes now, so you will need to collect all this stuff and if you're wanting your five star runes then there you go guess what take part in tournaments so they're kind of forcing you to take part in more areas of the game rather than just logging in running through graveyard hard 20 times a day yeah fantastic uh, the other thing that we can kind of show here so as you can see rank five spirits rank four spirits um yeah we have many more spirits in the game now to take care of the evil levels that have now been introduced big thing i'll say is uh, so i am doing stage nine i'm going to waste these gems on the video here for you to just show you the sort of the increase in the drop rates because it doesn't take much to evil things up now and when you're at evil eight to get up to evil eight plus one uh, you only need to have an evil four copy of that phantom it doesn't take many resources. Literally watch. Wait till you see. Quick claim. Look at that. 136 rank 1s. That's absolutely insane. Remember we used to be doing this and farming day in, day out. And maybe getting 20, 30 of these. Try to work out what state. Literally farming anywhere. You, you ain't going to be low. And the more of these you have. You can rank craft them up, make rank two. Do you know they thought the system was pretty pointless because you always had so many rank threes, not enough rank ones, you wish you could dismantle them. Well, now you're gonna be collecting an absolute ton of these and actually crafting rank twos and rank threes and rank fours just to get rid of them and create space. Absolutely fantastic uh, addition to the game. Like I have got nothing bad to say about that at all. Demon Fortress is what it is, same thing. You're going to have to run. If you previously played this, you're going to have to reopen all the levels again and farm them. And it is a little bit more difficult than it used to be if you don't have Bloody Overload because the game's been balanced to the new sort of system rather than the old way. And your Goblin Trove, as you can see, it goes all the way up to level 600 now and the gold gets tasty. 
Anyway, so there's some of the new crafting stuff and that that I think's absolutely banging. Some of the battle assistant, the new drop rates for the most annoying thing in the game. And another thing right here. So it seems like this is now, I'd say it was more of an RPG gacha before and with the resonance system being implemented and now an IDO system. It seems this is like a mixture between a sort of an ARPG and now an idle game because you don't really need to play it daily. Log in, set up your automatic runs, collect your idle bonuses. Uh, it, you can literally keep progressing in the game just by logging on. You've got all the materials you need. Your essence of life's coming in. Your experience, your characters still level up daily to level up your phantoms in gold. See, look at that, thirty-five thousand per hour. And the way to get this to increase is for each level of the Phantom Abode you complete, this will go up. So 35,839. Let me just jump into the Phantom Abode. We'll do a level. So go to hard. We're on stage 11. Let's just challenge it. My god, we're already 11 minutes into this and I don't even think I'm going to cover half the shit that I think is absolutely fantastic now. But anyway, jump in. Stun these, both defense down, give them a big whack, he's going to counter, no he's not, he normally comes over and gives me a big whack with his hammer, there you go, so that's it dead, there's what little soul power we get, we don't want to jump into that, go back into the idle wards, 35,842, I'm pretty sure, is that just not the exact same as what it was? Oh, they might have changed this. Give me a No, sorry, it is going up, but it's going up in much smaller increments than what it used to go up. So they've obviously balanced this out a little bit because it was getting excessively high really quick in the test server. So yeah, it still does increase when you're completing a board, but not as insanely big as what it was doing at first. But yeah, free rewards, whatever. Right, next little goodie that I think's Quite nice the fact that they've added it to the game. So let's just jump in. I don't know. Let's just see Ankaris Evolution. So we'll get into the rune section. As you can see here, up the top right, there's this little gold icon. You click sell. And my god, you can get rid of your damn runes. You don't need to feed them now, which costs gold. You can literally make gold by deleting them. Like it <laughs> that in itself. So for me, just go down to quality. So let's talk about this quickly. Um the stars decide how rare it is, how big a main stat you can go, and how high your uh, substats will start, like the ranges. The colour in the background decides how many substats you're going to have. Grey 1, green 2, blue 3, purple 4, and so on. So, yeah, just a little change there if you weren't aware of it. But yeah, you can get rid of all these crappy runes that you ain't going to use. Spine sets, totally irrelevant now. There's no two set two set effect. Same with harvest. So if you're still running two set harvests like I am on a couple of my phantoms, you are going to have to redo those. Um, I'm pretty sure people have already told you about that anyway. Right, on to the next thing. This is a new and improved trove. As you can see, quite interesting. An SS phantom here, an enchantment, and an epic book. Right. Won't lie, the rates are not fantastic, but they aren't supposed to be. This is a totally free system. You get these keys for logging in. You do your dailies and get keys. Uh, there is ways to acquire these in-game for free, so the rates aren't going to be fantastic. But you can refresh it. My God, I need to forget this is not the test server anymore. I shouldn't just be refreshing for the sake of it, because my poor dimes, there you go, bloody overload in the top corner. You just use your key, you draw, and you'd see where it lands. Probably not on him, as I said, but every key you're using, it's another bit of food, another bit of resources, I, I can't argue with that. But there you go, yeah, there is some rare phantoms in the pool uh, for you to get access to if you so happen to have a big stock of keys lined up. So, next thing we go on to. So here it is, here's the towers, new towers, all the way up to like level 400 or something like that. I still stand by how I play this. I will not touch this until I need a big influx of diamonds and then I will smash it. I've done it the same at the test server, waited till I had like an evil, a level 600 melon and then just blitzed up 100 stages just with melon alone, collected all the diamonds and then wasted them testing things. Same thing here, I won't do it until I need to. Uh, but this is all your elemental towers. 
they should only be open on certain days. It should definitely say, I find this pretty weird. Um, it seems like they're all open now, but in the test server, these were definitely daily. I don't know if this is a, a plan change or not. I shall find out, but yeah. Uh, does it tell you the Elemental Towers will refresh every Monday? Oh, oh well. But yeah, this is the main other use for the resonance, not just getting phantoms up so that you can flick them in about your team. You will need to use the resonance unless you're absolutely rich in resources like higher standard. You ain't going to have all these evil eights built up. So whack your teams into the resonance, uh, jump through, fight up through the stages, get the resources you need to craft the runes as I was showing you. Uh, I'm going to be hitting this quite hard over the next couple of days, I think, because I want some of those runes. They sound nasty. Right, last little thing we'll talk about in this video, and then I'm going to end it there. There's just so much to cover and so little time. So here we are. We've just opened up the instances. We're going to go do one. As you'll see here, this is Tatmir's Palace. Uh, it's opened up, and you'll see here that the, there's a required gear level of 150 to use. So this is the gear that we already have in-game currently. Uh, most people are wearing that if they've played it. For all you new players, you'll just work up. You probably won't even notice this because you'll just level up quite progressively as opposed to the like, sort of area of the game you're at. There's no real big lag behind here. Difference for us guys uh, that have started from max level as it was, you'll go through the story and you'll get this Cavalier equipment that's gold. So with gold, there's a required level of 300 for gold, 6 star. Six star gear, absolutely fantastic, but you'll not be able to equip any of this until level 300. So just bear in mind when you're looking through the instances. So I've done this, jumped through, try to get good PCs. Uh, so at the minute, from level 210 onwards, for us that were up there, jump in here, get to your Sea King's Tomb, and start using this stuff and farm at least this just to help you on. And the reason I say that is because your character can smack now. Like there is plenty of builds for your character to be absolutely destroying enemies all by themselves uh, just to give you a quick comparison of the two different stats just from three star gold let alone when you get right up to the red six star eventually so here we go here's the helmet i have equipped by the way your gear sets are ruined as well tide doesn't do what tide does anymore it's completely trash same with most of the other sets Cavalier sets pretty much the triumph sets pretty much a gold set now but it gives you 20 percent damage reduction pretty strong for your character to smack the dragon sets fantastic um but yeah mix and match play anyway and here's a comparison so look at the helmets there so the gear that we were running uh the five stars five silver stars 4k physical attack you go into a green which is little one sub stat gear because that's the lowest that starts green blue purple orange uh 33 000 physical attack that, that's look at the difference in that is insane but you can't equip this to 270 so we jump down and we do a the stat difference there like it's got 200 percent 300 percent the hp added on so yeah jump in there get your new chest and that but as i was saying do not get rid of your high time piece so I will have mine sitting by the side, so my energy economy and my high time PCs will be remaining. Even if I'm not wearing them at the time for PvE, they're probably going to come off unless I really need them just to get the stat boost. But yeah, keep the PCs, don't be silly and get rid of them, anything that you really need. But yeah, I'm going to end it here. There's more stuff that I could go through, but the update is live. Get in the game, give it another go, I promise you. They're actually listening now. They're putting the content up. They're fixing the stuff that's wrong with the game. Something gets reported. It's done within a day. Yeah, so hope to see you all back. Oh, one last thing for all the server two people. Big merges happening. All four servers into one. Everyone's playing together. So we will not be alone. Until next time. Peace out.